Katsun Zamara's older brother Itai used to stand opposite the parliament building every day, calling for Robert Mugabe to step down, saying he had failed as a leader. Four years ago, Itai was bundled into a car and hasn't been seen since. Patson believes men working for the ZANU PF led government took his brother. Itai is one of many Zimbabweans critical of the government who have mysteriously disappeared over the years. A lot of people carry scars. A lot of people were maimed. A lot of people carry emotional scars because they have not found closure, for example, to debt since independence 1980. There are over 5,000 individuals who have been recorded missing under political grounds or on political grounds since Mugabe came into power. And those issues are, are not resolved. Those issues have not been resolved. Itai's family don't know whether he is alive or dead. After Mugabe was removed by the army in a coup in 2017, they asked him where Itai was. Mugabe said he knew nothing about it. It's just one of many unanswered questions. In the early 1980s, thousands of people were murdered in Matsbiland province for allegedly trying to remove Mugabe from power. The former president called that period a moment of madness. But it's the state of the economy that's frustrating millions. What was once a prosperous nation when Mugabe took over in 1980 is now struggling with soaring inflation and high unemployment. Some basic services aren't readily available, including water. You can see all these children are going busy going to, to school without bathing, and we are busy fetching water the whole day. And there's no electricity. When the water, when the electricity comes, then we will go fetch water once in a while. Mugabe was a polarizing figure in life and in death. There was even controversy over when and where his body would be buried. Now the family says his final resting place will be here. Heroes Acre is an important national shrine where some of those who fought to end white minority rule are buried. Robert Mugabe's first wife, Sally, is buried here. Next to her is an empty grave reserved for the country's founding father. Family members say after the official government ceremony, they will have their own private event to say their goodbyes. While some Zimbabweans praise Mugabe's policies on education and land reform, others say Mugabe's legacy of disputed elections, allegations of human rights abuses, abductions and disappearances, and a ruined economy will continue to haunt them. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Harare.